You're going to need a uh, small ball. You can use glass or um, shatterproof plastic. This is actually shatterproof plastic. Um, and this is, I was trying to see how many inches this is. Um, I don't know. This is about a three inch ball, I guess, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, you're also going to need um, I don't know if these are considered, I think they're considered cranberries, but they're just for decorating. You'll find them in the floral department um, of your craft store. So you're going to need at least two, um, unless you're doing um, bigger sized uh, Christmas ornament balls, then you'll need more. But um, you're definitely going to need two of those. Um, you're going to need some scissors. You're also going to need um, some wire cutters. Uh, you can find these in your craft store as well. Um, some ribbon, and for this I'm just using uh, some green ribbon. And also a small, or it doesn't have to be small, but just a um, uh, glue gun, hot glue gun. Uh, low temperature is best. Um, and that's all you're going to need. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to take the um, the berries off of hold on there goes Noah <laughs> let me get him down hold on okay so you're gonna take this off and when you take this off if you you can just use a bowl but if you just cut it down the center you can use that to catch all your your little berries um, that way they don't go rolling around off your table. So anyhow, you are going to use your uh, wire cutters and you're going to cut off the berries. Now the berries are attached. Hold on one second. Come here, Noah. Let's come this way with mom. Yeah. Yeah. Go get your toys. Go get your worm over there. Okay, so you're going to take um, this. Now the berries are attached by a little wire. And you're going to want to cut that wire off as close to the berry as you can. So I use the flat end of the um, wire cutters and just cut as close to the berry as I can. And it just comes right off. Um, and I just put it to the side until I get all the berries cut off. Sorry, my son found the scissors. He was trying to run with them. <laughs> He's... Uh, interested in what I'm doing up here. <laughs> okay, so basically that's what we're going to do. We're just going to cut these off until we have the entire um, strand cut off. And like I said, you're going to need to to um, finish this, but you'll have some left over. But anyhow, I already have some cut up and uh, I'll go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, so I have more berries cut off and you're just going to take this um, ball and you're going to pull the ornament piece out just like that and you are just going to put your berries inside so I have a few left and you basically just um, just pour them in it's really easy to get them in it's not hard at all Okay, so once you get all the balls in there, sorry there's a glare, but anyways, I'll show you what it looks like without a glare here shortly. Um, put your piece back in, so now they're not going to come out. And then we are going to glue our ribbon on. Okay, so cut off a piece of ribbon. I don't even know how long this is. I just cut off a good little chunk. Find the center of your ribbon. And we are going to glue the center of the ribbon on to the um, back, back here, just to secure it while we tie it down. Okay, so we're just going to put a drop of uh, 
glue on the back. And then I'll just put that right up to it. Now that'll just hold until you get it tied. And there is your homemade ornament. And it's really cute. Um, just if you have kids around your house, I would hang it up high enough to where they couldn't reach it because if they do pull off the lid, the little balls could come out and obviously those are token hazards. So, but yeah, it's um, cute, simple, easy, and inexpensive.